Hey everybody, welcome back. Movie review time. We geek out about a movie we just saw, and we just saw um, the live action Disney, not Pixar, Lion King. We saw the Lion King. I was making a joke about the no spoiler video. Speaking of which, this is going to be our spoiler video, so we're going to talk about the movie with all kinds of spoilers. All the spoilers. Yeah, we might even talk about the end first, so you might want to get on clicking out of here and then come on back once you've seen the movie to watch this, because this allows us to actually talk about specific details we did or did not like. But we do have a no spoiler review out yeah. there. There's a link in the description below. You want to see that anyways, because it gives you more of our general thoughts. This is really just more of a specifics discussion. And, um, you know, and, and uh, we're not really reviewers, we're just people that like movies, like to talk about them, and I'm going to have to turn, you're going to get some engine roar in a minute, because I'm going to have to turn that AC back on, because we're about to hit a massive heat wave, and it's starting to build up over here. Yep. Um, we're, and I'm, I know some places out there get it hotter, but we're definitely not used to it. We're going to be hitting like 100, 510 over the effects. weekend, so that's going to be real fun. Um, especially since we get, uh, like, I like wearing suits, but not necessarily wearing suits at 110 yeah, do you degrees. Have, do you have a light? And we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's <laughs> enough. Spoiler warning, spoiler warning, spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. Spoiler! All right, so, I mean, what a fucking choice to have Puma rip the throat out of Scar and spit it in Simba's face like that. That was, that was messed up. <laughs> And then the aliens invaded. The blood was spraying, yeah, and then the aliens showed up, and then Timon was like, we gotta get to Area 51, because that's where the alien bros are hiding. And then Simba started Naruto running over there, and it was just nuts, man. That all happened. That all totally happened in this movie. Anywho. So now that our fake spoilers are out of the way. All right, uh, what do you want to spoil? Oh, What'd gosh. they change? Oh. Um. I don't know. Well, they oh. updated jokes. Okay, well, just real quick, too. Just for those few people that didn't mm -hmm. see the no spoiler, uh, I, I, I have not seen the original, so I am, this is the first time I'm experiencing the story other than what mm -hmm. I knew from pop culture because I grew up watching horror. If you want a full explanation of that, go watch the no spoiler thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so the updated jokes. Um, I have to say, because I had to wonder what they were going to do because in the original, they... Uh, uh, See, can I do spoilers you can, for the original? For yeah, you? spoilers for the original. I've seen the story now, so yeah, that's okay, fine. If you so, haven't seen the original, we're gonna spoil well, that too. When they just Timon and Pumbaa's bait, you see like Timon in like a grass skirt and coconut bra. Oh yeah, yeah, and I this, can see why is, they wouldn't do that in the life. <laughs> and this is where we get the be ah uh, guest. Be. Ah no, okay. So, but the be our guest was just in the new one, right? Yes. That joke was not in the original. Because, okay. Because Beauty and Beast did not exist at that point. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did catch that that was probably a, a newer joke, and I did think that was funny. And yeah. most of my laughs came from the Timon and Pumbaa stuff. I wasn't really laughing at anything else. Yeah. And honestly, just because I, I, I'm not a huge Disney guy, I, I wasn't looking at my watch because it wasn't slow, but I was definitely like, all right, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Um, this is just because it's just not engaging me. Like I just couldn't really care. I should at least care about Simba. Mm -hmm. Didn't care about him. I didn't really care about anybody in this movie, to be honest. Uh, Except maybe Timon and Pumbaa. In all honesty, yeah. Also, um, and for Kevin Smith, in case you're watching this, there's a dramatic lack of animal genitals and assholes. Yeah, I did notice that because the ball, <laughs> the lion, the male lions really should have just a huge. Yeah, no. photo reel uh, my ass, John Favreau. Where's my Where's my R-rated cut? I need animal testicles all up in my face in 3D IMAX now. Well, actually, we did RPX, uh, but. By the way, speaking of anatomy, how is it that? Okay, so well over a year Simba's gone, right? Yeah, it's yeah. And I guess. Scar is still as scrawny as ever, even though he's had all the foods to eat. Yeah, yeah, they did kind of decimate that place very quickly, but it's not really told how long. I mean, I don't... It takes a while for a lion to grow up. No, I know it takes a while, but I'm not. I'm just saying they didn't necessarily it specify. Was... was it a year? Was it a handful of years? Was it? The thing, it had to be at least a year. Yeah, I would. I would agree and with that. At the least thing is, a year. But, but Scar has been well fed the entire time, but he's still theoretically. Strong AF. Theoretically, they might the hyenas might not be bringing them in. Um, and I can't decide if I'm happy or or, or sad that. Keegan Michael Key did not get to team with Jordan Peele since they were a double hyena team. The hyenas were not done as well in this as they were done. No, there. and even Keegan because was they not... were a lot funnier because you had Whoopi Goldberg, Cheech Marin, and I'm blanking on who the third hyena was. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Um, but <laughs> but they were they they were the comic relief mm, okay. along with Timon and Pumbaa. Um, and you get a little bit of that with uh, uh, with Keegan. Is it? I can never get his name right. Keegan Michael Key. Thank you. And 
Andre, Andre, Nor uh, Eric Andre, Eric Andre. There we go. Um, but especially like it's the running joke is is Eric Andre is constantly in in Michael Key's uh, uh, personal space. space. Yeah, yeah. And again, even that joke that should have been funny, but it really wasn't landing. I it again it, it feels like it was one of those situations where you're not actually doing the voice voice recordings together at the same time and. Yeah, I could see that, that they're not getting to play off each other and really get that energy up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's possible. Um, the, uh, whereas I have a feel distinct feeling that, that, that Timon and Pumbaa were recording together. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, the chemistry was definitely there between them a bit more. Yeah. Um, but, and the other thing, that, since we're talking about anatomy and whatnot, so, the answer to your question about Incest. Oh, well, let me set this up, too, because I got confused a little bit into the movie because, and, you know, later I, I realized it, too. But, you know, the whole, in the beginning, it's Simba and um, no, Nala. Nala, Right, yeah. and, like, as their and kids, and, and they're and like... there's a few other kids running around. Yeah, too. but it's Simba and Nala, and they're like, um, you guys are going to be married, she's going to be your queen, and all of this. And then, somehow, my brain started thinking, wait a minute, isn't she the daughter of Mustafa's wife? And then I'm like, wait a minute, aren't they siblings? Isn't I eventually figured out, no, it's different ty lady lions, but um, so it, it got a little bit confusing there for a minute. So the way a pride works is it's really more of a harem situation. Uh, you have one male lion. The fact that Scar was allowed to be around at all, generally you probably wouldn't see in the wild. Okay. Because they, generally, the, whoever the dominant male is will run off all the other males, and eventually will also run off male cubs, unless the male cubs get grown up to a point where they can actually challenge. Okay. At which point they take over the pride, and all the lionesses. Okay. Um. So Mustafa was probably Nala's dad too. <laughs> Well, I mean, they'd be very popular on the front page of any porn site right now. <laughs> this is, and I, I mean, this is one of the things that they don't really discuss, and I'm like, um, if, if you know how these things work, this, this hurts your head a little bit. Yeah, sweetie, it's meant to be a cartoon for kids, essentially, so I don't know that they, you know. Yeah, but Disney they... has never been, um, no one has ever blamed or accused Disney of trying to educate their children with correct factual interpretations of things. <laughs> I know, I know, but still, it's, it, it's like, oh. Yeah, it is a little weird, man. It is a little uh, weird. But then again, how often do we have cases of human nobility marrying very closely amongst themselves? So, hey, whatever. I mean, how we live in Kentucky, I bet we know some people. <laughs> Probably. I mean, how people think we're brother and sister. Which is always <laughs> funny when, when they say, are you guys brother and sister? It's like, well, it is Kentucky. <laughs> Uncle Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sister Mama. <laughs> All right, let's stop down. Yeah, let's uh, let's get off that topic. Yeah, um, um, so, uh, okay, so I can get into some of the de details here. What really bothered me, story structure wise, mm -hmm. I think one of the best examples of what I'm talking about, how things just occur and you don't see his struggle or his growth, is yeah. how quickly he grew up. And it's he like, grew he, up in the course of what a song. And he he had run away. Yeah, they make they did make a good joke about that too. In there, I thought it was you pretty funny. You gained 400 pounds during that song. Right. Yeah. Um, but like, it's that, it's like, you didn't see him have to exist on his own. You didn't see him have to learn how to become his own man. You didn't see him struggle with, you know, making decisions Hell, that he wouldn't have to he make. He shouldn't have made it through the desert. No, well, that's even before that. But I'm just saying like, just, that's what I'm saying. You don't see anything, nothing in this movie is ever really earned. You never experience that. It's just, here's what's going to happen next in the story. So it happens. It's not like, you know, it's not, I keep saying like hero's journey. It doesn't have to be specifically the hero's journey, but mm -hmm. you don't really, these, you don't see these characters grow or learn or experience things really, um, other than the main plot points, you know, because mm -hmm. usually in story structure, you, you know, you set something up and then they got to go off and learn and fail and then learn from those failures and then come back and be like, okay, I know what I've done wrong and now I'm going to do better. You like, know. like Simba really should have sucked at fighting because he, yeah. he, he, he wasn't hunting. Like, yeah, exactly. If nothing else, he should have been. And, and and apparently I'm, he wasn't really, def I don't know how much defending he was doing either. Right. And I'm thinking this is probably also a problem with the original cartoon, I would assume. is and, and a lot of those older Disney cartoons is what I was saying is they don't mm -hmm. do this. It's just like, 
we're going to have them do what we want them to do. And it's like having those, seeing those scenes of him mm -hmm. trying to hunt or fail or starve or getting into a fight and failing and learning something from that that then comes around. It's like, oh, now this is how I beat the guy. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, those kinds of things. It doesn't have to be specifically that, but there's none of that in this story. Yep. Theoretically, if you, if you want to do what you want to do, we would have ended up with a montage of Nala going like, you're not ready to be king yet. You're going, if you go in now, you're going to die. Yeah, even something like that, even though it would have been ridiculous in this, is like, well, let's let's start sparring. Let me teach you how to fight, you know, Simba. You know, I mean, something. Yeah. Show us, show us him learning something, because you don't see him learn anything in this yeah. and then I also have a of huge course, problem I think the other argument is, is that they're animals and maybe it's just supposed to be all instinctual but but that has nothing to do with anything I'm talking about oh. I'm talking about telling a story okay. <laughs> you know and keeping that story engaging and interesting and going on a journey and watching a character grow um, you don't get any of that and I have a big problem with the ending too and we're gonna talk about that right after this And we're back. Yeah, cool. If we ever went away. Yeah, did we? Did we? We did for three seconds at least. I always put up that little card in the middle because I don't trust the ads to hit right where you place them. So ah. I always leave a little wiggle room there. Um, so anyways, I was going to tell you about my uh, my problems with the end. And I got to turn the AC back on. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so, and again, I know this is a problematic with the cartoon itself as well, I would assume. But I mean, just the whole thing where Simba comes back without any kind of training or preparation for this. Mm -hmm. He challenges Scar, mm -hmm. and Scar has everybody fooled, even Simba. He even has Simba fooled that it is his fault. <laughs> and then as Simba's hanging off the ledge, clearly in front of everybody, Scar starts being like, oh yes, this is what I saw in your father's eyes, blah, blah. And then I'm like, well, why'd you even bother to lean in to whisper the last part? Because everybody just heard what you said, and then like two seconds later, yeah, uh, Nala's mom is like, or whoever's mom is like, it, it's hey, we heard you, Scar. <laughs> it's that, that, that classic villain trope of, here, let me tell you my entire plan. <laughs> I know, but it's just the way it's all laid out, and then it's so in front of everybody. It's just like, I get that it's he a got, trope, he, but it's, he, so, it's a horribly I, executed I, version of the trope. Yeah, he's, he's, he got overly cocky, and what fuck it. I'm just going to gloat because I love to gloat. <laughs> and I mean, even there, what was his plan? Like, I mean, if I was if I was writing it, which is never a good way to start things. Not not for me specifically, <laughs> just in general, because you know, I, I understand it is incredibly difficult to make these things, write these things, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, it's like I almost feel like he should have continued with his convincing everybody it was Simba's fault, mm -hmm. and then um, shoot, now I think I've kind of lost what I was going to say. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, just. Um, just convincing them and then letting him, you know, it's like, should we let him die? He's going to kill us or something. I don't know, I just feel like there was better ways to to handle all that. But I think that just, again, yeah. goes back to this, the old school story writing of Disney. Yeah. So, but yeah, so the ending really bugged me that way. Um, although it was pretty brutal seeing all the hyenas pile on Scar. And I think they handle it the same way in the, the if I remember correctly, same way in the cartoon, is, is they cut away from the actual scene. You just see the shadows. Yeah, I thought that was clever. So, they pull up. But it's still, I think that was harsher in photo real land, especially for younger children. Then. That's assuming that they make the right connections because they they may not be able to actually they don't grow up watching horror movies so I know, see, I they don't know what a body in. being ripped apart looks like. I was the kid taking in Fangoria magazines to health class, being like, "This is what your chest looks like under your skin." <laughs> sort of. <laughs> well, no, because some of those some of the it was Savini's effects work. That shit. He he studied anatomy. Books. Okay, because I've seen ones. I'm sitting here going like that is not a person. No, no, at like all. Savini was a he was a, a, combat, a Vietnam combat photographer. He saw the real shit. So when he uh. came back, yeah, well, he came back. He would reference anatomy books. Yeah. So he is why effects got as realistic as they got. Anyways, anyways, back to the Lion King. <laughs> Before your camera dies, I'm gonna I'm gonna be you and derail. I would rather talk about Tom Savini. Let's talk about horror movies. No, no back to. <laughs> All right, what else? What else you got on Lion King then? Oh gosh, uh, let's see. My 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 big thing about it, I don't think it works as a musical. We already went over in the. Uh, yeah, and was um was uh the lion sleeps in the jungle, whatever. Ah, I can't no, I don't so that's think not in the I don't cartoon. think they used that in the original cartoon. Okay, well, I mean that was. I mean, it was a was fun setup neat. for for Nala's entrance, but which did have, I believe, a pretty good startling kind of jump scare mm -hmm. effect. So that was kind of cool. Um, 
And I can't believe she pinned him and they didn't even make the reference to pinned you again. You know, even if she recognized him, she could be like, oh, yeah, I thought it was you. Pinned you again. <laughs> I just thought, oh, you. I you, think you, she was just so, so overwhelmed of, holy fuck, you're alive. I, I get it, but there's like that rule of three in comedy and it's like, that's a joke they set up twice and they never, they never paid off a third time. <laughs> and they had the well, moment they could have paid off the third time. They did in it's a, a way that, pick. They, I know. They, they kind of did in a way in, in front, the fact that she did actually pin him. I guess. I, don't, I guess. I'm not sure that verbal component was necessarily necessary yeah. or appropriate to that scene. Yeah, fair. Fair enough. But I, I was just nitpicking something, I guess. Um, Gotta have something negative to say. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, it, it's just one of those things that it's like, it's also beautifully rendered. It's just, and because it's so accurate, the... You can okay. You can suspend disbelief enough for the talking, but when you get into singing, because in singing you really need to be able to emote, and you can't really emote when yeah. you have to keep the faces completely real. Yeah. Um, yeah. So no, I'm with you. That is that is part of the problem. A big a big, uh, and it's not even so much the filmmaker's flaw. It's just a flaw of the medium. The, what they're trying itself. to do. Yeah. yeah, it's a hindrance of what they're trying to do. Yeah. Because uh, again, we know John Favreau is a fantastic director, and I can't, mm -hmm. I can't really critique any of his directing in this per se. Did he also direct the Jungle, Jungle Book? Book? Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. See, I mean, the Jungle Book was great, but again, it wasn't trying to be a musical. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think that adds to it as well. I think probably my favorite joke though comes from Pumbaa, mm -hmm. um, talking about his farting. Especially when he farts in the mud and the zebras take off and then it waits a beat and then you see the frog jumping out, <laughs> getting away from his fart under the mud. That was pretty good. Oh, but it, that was one of my favorite things was uh, during Hakuna Matata where uh, they're talking, when I was a young warthog, and that's the same thing that you're talking about where he is in the farting, mud yeah. farting. It's just like, God damn, how do you feel every time that I, f you gotta stop me. <laughs> So yeah, she was telling me that was a change that in yeah, the or animated they stop him from saying fart, but yeah, not now because it's 2019, bitches. We can say fart. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, uh, losers. We're going out for farts. That doesn't make any see, sense. Was, and I'm trying to think. Was Nathan Lane? Yeah, I believe he was in the original. Yeah, he was too in the That's original. What I was and I'm trying to remember who Kumba was. That I don't know. I could probably um, tell you tomorrow. Probably. Um. <laughs> If you're watching this, when it immediately comes out, then we're probably, it, if you're watching it immediately, it'll be in about an hour, but uh, we'll be live tonight watching The Lion King 1 and a half and The Lion King 2, right on my channel, Drunken Movie Night, come on by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, it's like I said, it's kind of about what I expected. Mm -hmm. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more, but you know, uh, there wasn't really any chemistry from all these great actors and all this stuff. Yeah. So, mm, it just, I left kind of meh. That's kind of what I expected out of it. It's, so. it, it I mean, but also, again, I'm just just Disney just doesn't typically work for me. Yeah, Even when it works I, for me, I, it's still. I think if you're a, a uber fan of the original, you're, you're not going to like this as much. Yeah. If you're new or you're, you know, you're like, oh, I like it was okay. Let's check this out. You're probably going to feel this. Eh, this is okay. You know, got cool, but it, it's not that it's bad. I think it's just so much. It's different. Yeah. And probably also my enjoyment might be in slightly hindered by all I really wanted to do was go watch Top Gun. Because the new trailer came out today. I watched it right before the movie and I was like, oh my God, I want to see this. I want to go watch the original again. And I'm actually, I'm wanting to go see the trailer for Cats because that just dropped. Yeah, I got to go film that uh, tomorrow maybe. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm not going to tell you what film said that. about it. <laughs> I might have to film that tonight. Oh my god. Uh, there's you have too to much film all the things. Film them all now. There's too much going on at Comic Con. I got drunk at movie night tomorrow. We got a wedding to go to on Saturday. And I was like, oh my god, okay. <sighs> Anyways, um, <And. laughs> it's worth it though. Time with you is always worth it. Uh, also, I get to stop stressing about everything else because I'm like, I'm with you. I'm not going to think about anything but being with you now. Well, hopefully, my, my cousin will have an open bar. I like bars. Um, yeah, so Lion King. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I guess that's about all we got. So let us know. Comment below. Give us what you think about it. Your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. Do you like this better or worse than the original? Uh, how do you feel about these uh, live action uh, interpretations? Are you sad? Because uh, we said it in the no spoiler. I should have said it here. Are you sad about the lack of uh, testicles and butthole on all the <laughs> animals? Because I know Kevin Smith will be. Um, okay, quick question. Since Disney has decided to release two live action remakes back to back... Aladdin or Lion King? Ooh. 
I'm gonna have to go with Aladdin. I would, yeah. I would go Aladdin. And again, I think it's, I'm, I'm being specious, I guess, but I can relate more to the humans. There's mm. more colorful. Will Smith oh, was God, fun, even when he was having the to force settings. it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd have to go with Aladdin over that. Uh, I think I'd still go with Jungle Book over Aladdin. Mm, that's a tougher choice for me. But again, I'd have to see it a little bit because it's been a while since yeah. I've seen it. So maybe not. But that's our thoughts on all the Disney stuff, so let us know your thoughts. Comment below. Let us know. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give us that good old thumb of encouragement. Come on down. Uh, as we do love being encouraged here on uh, the Eric Butts Reviews channel. I don't know. I just I felt like going game show. No whammies. No whammies. No, he doesn't <laughs> say no whammies. All right. Uh, we're going to get out of here so we can go watch some more stuff. We'll see you all later.